Good morning everybody. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Not long now we can all get out a little bit more hopefully. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and it doesn't half make you feel good when you see a bit of sunshine. I spent the day in the garden yesterday. The only problem is I can't move or bend now. My back's absolutely killing me. Oh, So welcome to my YouTube channel. I always start with a bit of a waffle, but there you go. My name's Tracy Evans, if you've never visited my YouTube channel, so welcome. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you here. So today, I thought I would create a simple card. Nothing about any complicated layers or anything like that, just about simplicity. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a piece of white smooth card and we're going to start with a piece of card four and a half inches by six and a half inches and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my up up and away stamp and I'm going to use my tailoring stamp as well and maybe a little bit of detail using the heart grunge stamp set. Now I have got plenty of space let's see how long it lasts. I've actually not pulled out many products. I've kept it to a bare minimum of products. Let's see if we can keep the desk relatively tidy and if I can actually find things as I get halfway through the video. Let's see. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the Neuron stencil. I like this stencil because if I want to add lots of detail, I can. But if I just want to add a touch of detail, I can. And it gives a fine a fine stenciling layer so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to start with the two colors that I'm going to use today are squeeze lemonade and picked raspberry again just trying a different color palette and I'm just going to ink up my ink blending tool with the squeezed lemonade and as you know I always say to you make sure that you apply a really good layer of ink don't be in too much of a rush to apply that ink. If you get a good layer of ink, then you get a good blend. Obviously, when we're demonstrating, us demonstrators, we all say different things. What you have to do is from each video, take from that video whatever works for you. Things work differently for every demonstrator, for every card maker, for every mixed media artist. Products work differently in different hands. Yes, there's the, you know, tools work in a certain way, but in, in, in different hands, they can work in different ways to different degrees. So take away from a video what works from, for you. As a demonstrator or as somebody that does YouTube videos or online classes, it doesn't mean that we're always right. What we're doing is we're giving you information on what works for us in the hope that you can try these techniques and that, you can develop them and, and they work for you. So what I'm going to do is a lot of the time we apply low tack tape to hold our stencil down. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to hold my stencil. And what I'm going to do is just apply a layer of ink like so. And I've got plenty of ink on there so the more I blend, it becomes more faded out towards the outer edges because I'm not reapplying that ink. So you get a faded out effect towards the outer edges of the stenciling. Try to avoid the, the line. You don't want the line of the stencil on your design. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use Distress Oxide Picked Raspberry just because picked raspberry packs a punch. So just to give my card a little bit of a punch of colour, I'm just going to add, and I don't want to add it all over the areas that I've just applied the yellow. I still want some yellow to be visible. So I can just lift my stencil like this, and that is beautiful. Very easily, because I've applied plenty of ink, you get a beautiful blend. And I just think those two colours together work so well. And of course, we're using pink and yellow because it's a lovely sunny day. And why not? It's just beautiful out there. So we wanted some uplifting colours. I'm going to give that a little spritz with water. 
and then I can just allow that to rest. So I'm just giving that a little spritz and don't be in too much of a rush. Just allow it to sit on your card just so it activates. And what I'm going to do is even though I applied the ink like that because it's easier to apply the ink that way for me, I'm actually going to use the card this way. That's the way I'm going to use it. So what we can do is we can do our little characters. So grab another piece of white card. I didn't cut everything ready this time. I was so excited to get a card done. I didn't actually um, cut everything I needed. But you've actually got still got a bit of ink on there. So you could actually spritz that with water and take a second generation print as well. So then you've got another background. So what I'm going to do is grab my acrylic block. One advantage of working in a small room is I can just grab everything, which works really well, especially when you're doing a video, off the cuff and you don't prep everything. So I'm going to use this. I just think the little bunny rabbit is just perfect. It's just the way I'm feeling. It's Easter weekend. A bunny rabbit doesn't have to be used for Easter. I've not designed it for Easter, but it is Easter weekend. So why not? Why not? Why not get into the spirit of things? So I've got my little bunny and he's just lovely. So just apply the bunny. And still, even when it's just a small stamp, I still let that stamp rest on the card. Just look at him. Isn't he lovely? His little ears. So am I going to have three bunnies? Do you know, I think I am. Am I going to have three? Let's stamp three because this is going to be a very simple card. Nothing too complicated. We don't want complicated today. It's sunny outside. You're probably all gardening. So I thought when you come back in, you've got a little simple video that you can create a card that doesn't take much thinking much stress and you can just enjoy it so that's my thinking today i'm always thinking about you, you see i'm always worrying about you and making sure that can i find a sharp pencil no don't be don't be don't be silly of course i can't find a sharp pencil So I'm trying to use as, as little products as possible in this demonstration. So what we've got here is a HB pencil. And what I'll get is a little pink pencil crayon. So I don't want to use too much product because the idea is you've probably been gardening or you may have been sat out in the fresh air and you don't want anything too stressful today. You've had one of those relaxing days where you just want to enjoy creating something simple. It doesn't always have to be about 150 layers. It can be about something simple. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding the shading with a HB pencil. I actually enjoy colouring with a HB pencil because... It's, it's such a, a, it's one of those products, we've all got a pencil somewhere and it means, you know, we, we, we can all get involved. We don't have to have heaps of products. So I'm just shading with my HB pencil. Yes, I've got to do three rabbits, but it, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to add that little bit of shading just by his ear, just where it gets a little bit darker, just around that, that join of his ear. And what you would do is you would take plenty of time just to colour your bunny rabbits. So I did, I spent, I spent the day yesterday and I was actually, I, I, last year I neglected my garden. I don't know whether it was because of lockdown, I just concentrated on my craft and I, I neglected the garden, which is very unlike me. I adore my garden. In fact, my garden is my first passion. I adore gardening. It always makes me 
feel better when I've been out there, especially if I'm, I'm feeling a bit low. The garden makes me, it's just wonderful. It's just a wonderful place to be. And I neglected it last year. So I was determined that this year I'm definitely going to put that right. So yesterday I spent the day actually revamping pots that I'd, I'd let go. And you know, just like craft, it was so, it gave me such a buzz because I'd got one, one little trough in my garden that had got a hosta. It's actually a miniature hosta. And inside the pot, everything but the kitchen sink had seeded in this pot. So I thought, no, I'm going to empty it. It was a heavier pot. It was one of those little troughs that's like that, but that's solid. So I emptied the trough, split the hosta, which is only a little miniature one. I split the hosta into three and then planted it up in the other three troughs. And you know, it felt so good. It didn't cost me anything because I'd already got some grit and the hosta I split into three. So I felt like I created three pots for no cost and it was wonderful. So it felt just as good and it felt good to actually tidy the pots that I'd neglected last year. It was, it was lovely. So it, it is a nice feeling whether you're, you're out in the garden or whether you're you're crafting. It, it's just lovely. But let's just lift that up just so that you can see. Just from a pencil, just a HP pencil, a little bit of shading. And I think if you're ever feeling a little bit down or fed up, I don't know, there's, there's something about just a little bit of shading with a HP pencil. I don't know whether you used to do it when I was when I was little long time ago we used to we used to have phones that you had to dial youngsters are going to listen to me and think what do you mean dial with with a circular dial on that you had to turn the number so you just turn the number and I can still remember my old number from my house from years ago and you used to have to turn it to to get your numbers and if if somebody wasn't in you couldn't get hold of them so if you were going out anywhere and you were meeting them in Hanley well, if they were going to be late, they couldn't text you like you can now. You just had to be late and you just had to stand there and wait for them. It's so strange now thinking about technology now. Oh, I'm just showing my age. So when I was sitting on the phone, I used to talk to people because we used to be on the phone for hours. And I used to talk to my friends. And while I was talking, I used to doodle. Nothing, nothing fancy or imagery, but I'd doodle shapes and things or if I didn't doodle if I doodled like a star or something like that I'd then shade it in while I was on the phone who knew that I'd be doing this then when I was little but yes it, I used to just shade in certain areas I used to love it spending an hour on the phone to friends and then there was none of this TikTok or whatever that is none of that you used to have to dial the numbers on the phone and if your friend was late, they didn't text you to say, oh, I'm going to be 20 minutes late. It was tough. You had to stand out in the freezing cold while they were 20 minutes late. So, very strange now. Just showing my age, but hey-ho. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of pink to his bow tie and his little nose. Bless him. So just add... But I did, I used to just enjoy doodling away. And I even, it's funny because the other day I pulled out these sewing stamps to use. And it brought back memories of when I did um, needle craft at school. And I can just remember my very organic, as the only word for them, drawing of people when we had to create our own designs uh, for the needle craft. Oh, my drawings were hilarious of people. I wish I'd still got the, the, the drawings now because I'd love to show you my sewing and my design work for designing a top and some clothes. Oh, hilarious. I'd love to show them now. You'd have a really good giggle. But it's what makes you what you are now, what, you, what you've done when you were younger. It, make, it builds you into the person you are now. Oh, that was deep. 
oh that was a bit deep for me that was for a Wednesday so I'm just cutting out my little bunnies like so I'll just cut those out I've got a, a, a friend visiting today later on in the afternoon and she's bringing me some plants that her husband did cuttings of and I'm like I'm so excited because I'm just getting extra if, if I get a plant I get all excited it's like it's like extras extras and it was a surprise as well because she just messaged me so it's so lovely and it's nice at least we can see at least you can see family and friends in the garden now so oh, I've forgotten his little nose there is it he hasn't got a little pink nose poor thing so just cut his little body out and again these are easy to cut out I quite like the size of these because they fit on other things and inside other things it doesn't have to be with the stamp set that you've that that's got that this is on you can use other stamp sets as well and I love standing characters on different things just to give them a different look it makes makes me smile so just cut these bunnies out you can leave a white border if you wish if it makes it a little bit easier for you to cut out I'm not leaving a white border on this occasion let me just hold those little bunnies up just so that you can see just a HB pencil and one pink pencil doesn't he look cute always lovely so I didn't design him for Easter he was designed as just you know a garden bunny that causes mischief in the garden look at him with his arms folded so the idea was that you'd use him with your pots and things and standing by your flowers but because it's Easter this weekend I thought let's do something that's it's not going to be very Easter but it could resemble an Easter card if you wanted it to so I'm doing this video in the morning because then in the afternoon I'm going to wear me back out just again and I'm going to do some more gardening I love being out there and I love it because there's there's um because there's lighter evenings it extends the day for me it means I can fit a little bit more in which is lovely I love that so what we've got here, it's now reacted. The water has reacted with the card. You can see those splotches and those little bleaching out areas. So that's reacted nicely. So what I'm thinking is my three little bunnies will go here, but they need something to sit on. So we need something for them to sit on. So I thought, why not let, let's have something a little bit different for them to sit on. So I've got this stamp set that's called Tailoring and I do like these thimbles. So I thought it'd be quite fun for him to sit either inside the thimble or on top of the thimble. So we're going to take that thimble stamp and I can't make my mind up whether we're going to cut them out anyway so it's not exactly detrimental. So let's just scurrying around for a piece of white card and it's hilarious because if you'd got a camera on me trying to bend because I've done this gardening it's hilarious. So just stamp the thimble, which has got beautiful detail. Look at that. So we can use it that way for him to stand on the top or we can use it that way for him to sit inside. So we'll decide what we're going to do afterwards. And again, just allowing that ink to sit on there. I 
love the detail in that thimble. The detail in that thimble is truly amazing. Going to have to lift that up and look at the detail in that. That is just fantastic. So if you want, you can pause me. You can go and make yourselves a little brew, a sneaky brew. Don't grab yourself any chocolate or else you're going to have chocolate fingers all over your card. So don't grab yourself any chocolate yet. Do that afterwards. But you can grab yourselves a brew while I'm cutting out. I'm, do you know, I'm not actually chucking the card on the floor. That's a first for me, not chucking card all over the floor. Hilarious. I get excited about creating cards for YouTube as well. I think it's because I love seeing what you all create or how you develop the idea or the fact that you just have a go. It, it, it's lovely. It's a lovely feeling when somebody has a go at a card that you've created. It gives me a massive buzz. I love it. I love sharing. There's nothing and not a nicer feeling than sharing. So just cut that out. So now we can have a little play around, you see. So what we can do is we could have one up like this. So he's inside. Looks like he's coming out of a hat. Look. So you could have one inside, and then you can have the other two sitting on the top. Oh yes, we're going to do that. I think we're going to have the other two sitting on the top. <laughs> I'm sorry, but isn't that fun? Sorry, very childlike, I know. But what it's always best to do, it's always best to lay the outside ones down first and then you can judge where the centre one's going a little bit better. So lay down the outside ones and you can spread out and judge the, the balance and where they're sitting a little bit better if you lay the outside ones first. Make sure his little legs so he's going to sit on there like that. And he's wondering what the X going on. Aren't you, little bunny? He doesn't know what's happening. Then this one can go here like that. And then now we know exactly where the centre one's going. So we can place our centre one. But what you need to do is don't stick the centre one down too much. So don't press it down. Leave it just so it's slightly raised. Just so that you can fit your little bunny inside. And this one, I'm not going to stick his ears down. His ears are going to be waving in the wind. So we're just putting him inside there, like so. Look, they're riding a thimble. Oh, now my, my childlike behaviour is getting worse. So what I'm going to do is grab a little piece of copier paper. Just press those down. Just so that we make sure that we've got them stuck down properly. Beautiful. And then this one is going to sit on the top. I always take a little bit of time, especially when I've got threes, just to, to get it evened out nicely. I don't sort of rush. I just take my time just to... We'll stick this one's ears down. So it's just the one in the centre. You sit you on there. Like so. Oh yes, just lovely. So then I can press them down. I always use a piece of copier paper rather than get my hands all over my card. Oh look, I mean look at them. 
I just think they look fab. And if you wanted to, you could use my alphabet stamps and you could stamp out the word Easter. I'm not going to do that on this occasion. Of course, the stamp that I want, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is try and find my little grey ink tense pencil. It's getting smaller and smaller. I think I need to invest in another one before it disappears. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of shading just to give everything a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go round the beautiful thimbles. Now you could use these thimbles as a plant pot holder so you could stamp my flowers in the thimble just to give a different look. So just going around, I just think this will make the imagery pop against the background. It'll give it that much needed shading. Just around each of the thimbles. And sometimes it's, it's lovely just creating a simple project that doesn't take much brain power. I mean, I don't have much brain power anyway. Let's, let's get it right. But when it doesn't take much... too much thought you can just enjoy your stamps I love adding the shading let me just hold that up just so that you can see the shading behind there it gives it a lot more depth so just quite nice having one a different way and you can add as much or as little shading as you want sometimes you can add really deep shade and it really does make it pop it gives it dimension and also because you're adding the shade at the base of those thimbles, it actually grounds them as well. It actually grounds the thimbles for you. Love that. Do you know, even a simple card can make me happy. Just mop that up. Just place that back just so that we've got it in. You could even use the mice with the thimbles, couldn't you? Because there's often um, like animations, isn't there, with mice and thimbles and, and sewing implements. So you could use that kind of thing as well. We could add some shading around the rabbits if you wanted to, but I don't want to on this occasion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my season stamp set. And I'm going to use the, the spring sentiment you see now I've started to create piles so that you can't find anything and that's when it gets dangerous so I've got my spring sentiment from the season stamp set using archive not archival using versifying Claire nocturne black Just allow that to sit, just for a few seconds, for the spring sentiment. There we go, beautiful. I'm really enjoying myself because the birds are singing outside and it, it's lovely. They're having a beautiful sing song outside. It's cheering me up, the sun's shining, it's glorious. One advantage of having your craft room round the back. Just lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my word spring here. 
you could add it there or it would work quite well there as well but I'm going to have it here if you wanted to put it in the center you could put it in the center but I quite like it off center that's just me just allow that to sit for a few moments just so that the glue grabs then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a black mat because, as I said, I didn't I didn't prep anything. So I'm just going to cut a black mat just for my card. So I'm just cutting the black mat a quarter of an inch um, bigger than my actual white card blank. And it's funny because while while you're talking, you're thinking, did I cut that right? So what I'm going to do is add this to my black mat. If you wanted, you could add it to a pink and yellow mat. So you could colour some card with pink and yellow and add it to that mat. I'm adding it to a black mat because it just pops. And then I may bring in the pink and yellow anyway. Just make sure you give a few seconds just for it to sit on there. I'm going to draw around the spring sentiment with my ink tense pencil and every time I do a video I think I need to order a new grey ink tense pencil do I do it no because I then move on to something else my brain is like a sieve I just move from one thing to another and I'm, I'm just terrible so just add a little bit of shading Make sure you don't go all over the card because you've got that oxide ink underneath that you'll also reactivate. There we go. Just that there. We've not finished yet. What we're going to do is we're going to cut another white mat, another quarter of an inch, whoops, another quarter of an inch bigger. Than what we've already got so we started with four and a half piece of white card and we've gone up in quarter of an inch increments i think it's good if you can see the card made from start to finish so what i've gone is i've gone up in quarter of an inch 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 increments and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the picked raspberry, make sure I've got some a lovely layer of ink on there. And then what I'm going to do is just blend that pink. Just to bring a little bit more pink into my card. Just to keep that vibrancy. I've got plenty of ink on my non-stick craft sheet, so shouldn't need to re-ink again. Let's just give that a, a wipe. I'm staying relatively tidy. I wouldn't say that, you know, I'm doing brilliantly, but I'm staying relatively tidy, as they say. So what I'm going to do now is add that pink to here just gives it just makes it pop a little bit more sometimes a matte and layer really does help i want to add a little bit more stamping maybe so just add that just take your time just to get the matte and layer just right and what we're going to do now is cut another quarter of an inch mat so it's a bit of a pain me having to cut on the um, screen 
while we're live but i didn't get time to to prep so i just thought i'd do that while we're doing the video so what i'm doing is i'm just creating the card blank which i'm just going to fold and then we're just going to create another mat so that's my scoring tool that you can you can hear I often use a piece of A3 card just to because I actually create my own card blanks so I do use a piece of A3 card but I can't put my cutter on the desk because there just isn't the room you see so what we've got is we've got another mat now let's just move this out the way and then I'm going to use the yellow and just blend some of the yellow just around the outside edge. If you wanted, you could just use direct to paper. You could take the ink pad and swipe it right across the card down the edge because you're not going to see any of the edges when it's all adhered together. But this just sort of gives a lighter blended effect. But if you use direct to paper, you get a little bit richness of colour. So just blending that all the way around. And what I like to do with my cards is I like to make each card look different so that I'm offering you something different each time. I don't like every card to look exactly the same. So we're going to add that to our yellow mat. Again, going up a quarter of an inch just to add the yellow mat. And then I'm just going to cut my card blank and the card blank ends up five and a half by seven and a half. because you've gone up in those half inch, sorry, those quarter of an inch increments. So the card blank is five and a half by seven and a half. And what you have to hope is that you've cut it right. Let me get a piece of copy of paper because I don't like working when I'm putting the card together. I like to just, oh, I nearly pulled my drawing up then. That's better. I like to just lay it on a piece of copy of paper, just so it's a nice clean area. And I've got my five and a half by seven and a half inch card blank that I can add that to. there so there's a quarter of an inch round just so you can see that it, it sort of pops with having each of those layers on there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab let's move that out of the way going to grab the next stamp set. The next stamp set is never quite where you want it. Using my season stamp set, you could also add April. So you could add the April here as well. So you could add that just to make yours a little bit different. I'm just looking for my heart grunge stamp set, just to add a little bit of background detail just to the to the card so there it is so we've got the heart grunge stamp set and what we've got is we've got this little background stamp here let's just put the lid on my glue and what I want to do 
move my pencils out of the way and we've got a bit of space what I want to do is just ink this stamp up and I'm just going to add a little bit of detail there and I'm just using the stamp as is I'm not using an acrylic block that's nice just to give it a little bit of detail can you see that just love that absolutely love it and I'm working on the copier paper just so that I don't get any marks on the back of the card so just adding a little bit more detail to each of those it's got some lovely splatters on this one lovely splatters so what I'm going to do is just pick up the area with the splatters just add a little detail with the where the spring is just so it doesn't look left out let me just make sure my fingers are clean just so that you can see that love it what we're going to do, whoops, is add some white splatters. Just in the area where the rabbits are. Like so, just so you can see little splatters where the rabbits are. You see, I love this already. Simple card and I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is just place that down. Just grab my wipe. Where have I put the wipe? There we go. So there's some on here. Let's pick this up. On the heart grunge stamp set, there's a little heart here that I'm just going to stamp. Just this one here. There is one with numbers there. Let's see which one we prefer. Can't make my mind up. So if you can't make your mind up, stamp both. Oh, I've gone over that one twice. But I don't know whether I like the one with the numbers. Let me just stamp that again. Let me just. See, that's got numbers. Can't make my mind up now. Oh, decisions, decisions. Plonked my scissors down. What did I say to you? Don't plonk anything down. So you've got this plain heart here and you've got this heart with a few numbers on. So I may go for the heart with a few numbers on. There we go. So that heart's got a few numbers on. Just colour it in a little bit of pink so I'm just using my pink pencil polychromo pencils just to add a little bit of pink to the heart just two colors of pink just to add to the heart just to give my card another little touch. So 
So just take your time. And you professional colourists out there will take a lot longer. But I know you don't want a video of just me sat here colouring. Because that's not very interesting. So just, just adding a little bit of depth around the outside edge. Just so that you, oops, just so that you can see, I've got a lovely heart. Can my camera focus? Yes, on my hands as well. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the heart here, like so. Because we love spring, don't we? I do. I absolutely love spring. One of my favourite times of the year is spring. So there's our little heart. And then what we can do, whoops, come on Tracy, what we can do then is we can grab our, let's just move this out of the way, grab our little bunny Grab the little bunny again and what you're going to do is just create a very simple insert so i've got another piece of card that's four and a half inches by six and a half inches just move that out the way and what we can do is just create a simple insert but let's grab the stencil just add a little tiny bit of stenciling. Just use what ink you've got on your ink blending tool. You don't need to ink it again. Just use what you've got. Just to add a little bit of stenciling. Then what you're going to do, ink your little bunny. Like so. Just so he's on the inside of the card. Just add a, where's my pencil I sharpened? Just add a little bit of shading to your little bunny rabbit. Just so he's shaded a little bit. And you really don't have to add much shading to the bunny rabbit to bring him to life. He comes to life quite quickly with just a touch of shading. So you don't have to be super professional just to add a little bit of shading to your bunny. A little bit of a pink. He needs to have a pink nose. Little pink dicky bow. Then you need to grab your little bit of, that's enough, ink tense pencil, just to ground him a little bit. Just to give him a little bit of grounding. Then we just want to add a few more details. So what we're going to do then, is we're going to take this stamp set, the Seasons one, and we're going to take April. Let's just move little bunny out of the way. We're going to take that April. Like so. Just add April here. If you were doing a journal page, you could add the April to your journal page. So we've got that April. Let's just give that a little bit of a blot, just to make sure. So 
we've got the inside of our cord so we'll adhere this to the inside just so that it's a nice touch I'll add some white splatters to the inside that to the inside of our card just so it's it looks pretty when you write the sentiment on there it just looks all coordinated when it's on the inside just looks coordinated and then we just want another little touch so what we're going to do is go back to our up up and away stamp set where have we got Where's April gone? There we go. Go back to our up, up and away stamp set. And there's a little hat in there. Just so. Let me show you this stamp set. On the stamp set, you can't see it because of that. There's a little, there's a little hat just here. I'm going to use that hat. Ink that up. Stamp onto our scrap piece of white card. Love that little hat. Just give it a little bit of shading. How is it possible, can you tell me, to lose a pencil that you've just used 35 seconds ago, that you've sharpened and it was all beautifully ready? just add a little bit of shading to your hat again using a HB pencil and sometimes when I'm doing a hat I'll also use a flicking motion because it forces me to leave a little bit of white space in the center of the hat just so that it's a highlight just add a little bit of shading around the hat you'll take a lot longer than me just to colour your hat in So we'll then cut our little hat out and again it's not too difficult to cut out you don't you don't really need a white border around the hat move your card rather than your scissors makes it so much easier to cut out by moving your card each time Then what we're going to do is we're going to add the hat to our middle bunny. Oh, it's so lovely. Doesn't take much to make me happy. This makes me happy. I just think that is lovely. Just hold that down. And I think that for any card wishing anybody a happy spring is lovely so there's your card nice and simple but great fun i love it and i hope you're enjoying the youtube videos i hope you have a lovely wednesday afternoon it's absolutely glorious out there go and get some sunshine it really does cheer you up and i hope when you come back in either tonight or tomorrow you'll maybe give this card a try Thanks ever so much, everybody, for all of your support, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.